Uh, they're all happy. That's part of the atmosphere here in the Yokohama Arena. Uh, but behind them, you can see uh, the players warming up uh, for what is the biggest game of the year for them. Uh, because, you know, when you look back at a basketball player, what defines uh, your career? I guess are those titles. Those are the things you want to look back at. And also, as we look at the playoffs, and you can see how these two teams have made it to this point of the season. Uh, you know, it's been a it's been a hard season. I know you played for Kyoto, and it was a, it must have been a difficult season, but it's quite an accomplishment for these teams to have made it this far. Yes, I think so because of the COVID, uh, a lot of teams cancel the game, uh, players cannot practice a couple weeks, and they still manage to be, you know, uh, number one in the Eastern Conference and number, uh, number two in the Eastern Conference. That's really tough for them to achieve. And then, uh, you know, come up to the finals, you know, uh, it's great for both teams. So here we are, you can see inside the Yokohama Arena, uh, more than 4,000 fans. We'll get the official total for you. Uh, when possible, but game one, it was all Chiba Jets winning it 85 to 65. And, and really, uh, in that last game, game two, uh, Utsunomiya Brex came back strong, hitting back with a vengeance uh, to win it 83 to 59. Uh, uh, these are highlights uh, from those two games. And, uh, you know, without a doubt, in, in my mind anyway, and you might, you might think a little bit differently, but in my mind, you know, it is the team that comes out and really controls the boards uh, that has the best chance of, uh, of winning these games. The teams that can get those offensive rebounds, uh, certainly that was the case in the first two games. And uh, the guard play for Chiba was really good in that first game, maybe not so much in the second. Uh, they really need that man right there, Tagashi, uh, to come out strong today and, and to play well. But uh, what are your thoughts looking ahead to this game three? Uh... I think what you said is exactly right. Uh, rebounding is really key. Uh, both Togashi and Ryan Rossiter, they mentioned that rebound is the key to win the games. And then you can see these two games that whoever gets the most rebound come up with the victory. And, uh, and then also the shooting, shooting the three-point is also the key. Uh, Chiba shot the better three-point percentage in the first game and the second game. Utsunomiya came out and shot the three ball uh, better than Chiba. So I think rebounding and three-pointers, those two are the two most important things. Well, as we look at the highlights of this game too, it was really something else, wasn't it? You know, we talked about the Brex having to come out and have a good start. Not only did they have a good start, but they just really in the end just ran away with it. Watanabe there, uh, who was a member of that team that won it in the inaugural B-League season, uh, came out and had a huge first quarter and really set the tone. And uh, in the end, uh, Jeff Gibbs, your good, your good buddy and former teammate, came out and hit a, a string of three-pointers. Uh, but you look at those uh, B-League champions, uh, Brex in year one, and then, of course, Albark Toyota uh, in year two and three. And then 2019, 2020, because of the pandemic, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't have uh, the title. But... Uh, Ryan Rossiter is certainly hoping that uh, he and Brex can get back uh, to the top of Japanese basketball uh, for the second time. And uh, you know what? When you have the experience of winning the championship and making it through, it, it, it makes a big deal. But this year is different, uh, KJ, because of the, the best of three format compared to the previous championships. Yes, I think so. That's exactly right. I know, I know the players and coaches, you know, they play 60 games and then, you know, to, to win a championship, they only play one game, you know, that's, that was kind of like a uh, debate within the team and the league, and then the league decided to put, you know, best out of three games, and uh, players are more comfortable playing uh, to get two wins, and also fans want to see more competitive close games. So I think it's really good for the whole league. Well, we're certainly happy about it. As we look at that roster of Chiba Jets, um, who in your mind needs to really step up for this team today, starting from number one, Josh Duncan, all the way down to number 31, Shutahara? I mean, I think Togashi. I know everybody's going to say Togashi, but he is the face of the, the team and he carry 
this Chiba just to the finals, and he's he probably the most uh, out of anybody that wants, wants to win championship. You know, he's been to the finals the last uh, three years, and then came up short. So he needs this title to put on his resume. And if we talk about the bigs for this team, you know, Josh Duncan probably was not at his best in game two, number one. Uh, you also talk about uh, uh, the outstanding of Shannon Shorter. Uh, you would figure he in this big game will be good. Here's Takashi. What is the key for the game? The key for the game is the rebound. The rebound is the key for the game. The rebound is the key for the game. Whoever gets the most rebound wins. The rebound is the key for the game. The rebound is the key for the game. というところが少なかったように感じました。その部分に関してはどうでしょうか。うん、まあ本当に一コーターから流れをあの宇都宮さんの方に持ってかれてしまってたので、なかなかチームとして本当にオフェンス、ディエンス含め機能しなかったかなと。まあ本当に出だしってところが、えー、今日の試合も本当に重要になるかなと思います。本当に笑って終わ,終われるように、えー、しっかり戦いたいなと思います。Did you sense any pressure there、uh, on the face of Tagashi? Yeah, he was. He was really serious. You know, no smile. He's focused.、Uh, you know, I want to see him get you know rebound, even though he's short. You know, that's probably going to give a lot of energy to the team. We're talking about meaning all business. If you look at this man right here, Ryan Rossiter, there is no question about it. He he is all business. Right at the end of game two, he was like, "We got to forget this." This thing isn't over. We got to get ready for Game Three, and he still has that same look. Also,、uh, he had, Makoto Hijima, as、uh, you mentioned, perhaps hasn't been his best in the previous few games.、Uh, maybe that adds a little bit of pressure、uh, for him. He knows again that he is also one of the faces of not just the Brex but also Japanese basketball.、Uh, he wants to come out. And have a good game today. Today, what kind of play did you see? I mean, I think rebounding again. I think that was the key in the first two games for both teams. So、uh, I don't see why it won't be in the third. あの最初のゲームワン、ゲームツーもリバウンドがやはり鍵になりましたので、えー、このゲームスリーもやはりリバウンドが鍵になってくると思います。第三戦に向けて意気込みを一言お願いします。Uh, um, I think both teams are excited. Both teams are,、uh, are ready to go. I know the fans are really excited. It's going to be a good atmosphere, and、uh, we're going to put on a good show. あの両チームともいい準備をしてきたと思いますし、とても楽しみにしていると思いますし、えー、ファンの皆さんもとてもこう楽しみにして、えー、いい雰囲気を作っていただいていると思うので、えー、ファンの皆さんのためにもいい試合をしたいと思います。You know, he's really trying to focus. You can see he's in a little bit of pain still、uh, because of、uh, that injury that he suffered in the semifinals, and he's been wearing the face mask. And of course, we just got to look at the referees for today's game. And、uh, as we get a little bit closer now, the lights have lowered. And you know, part of me,、uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of、uh, of the B League and, and all of these players, and especially those those Japanese national team players like Tagashi. But you can't help but think. Uh, the pressure is there on、uh, Yuki Tagashi to come out and deliver、uh, today in his third appearance in the B League Finals.、Uh, I think he probably knows it, and uh, certainly uh, everybody in Brex Nation knows it, and Japan knows it. They are excited to be watching、uh, a game three decider. And we're going to have the introduction of the teams and as well. Just like the other, the, the big welcome、uh, to the finals. Is it a welcome ceremony? Very happy to be on the game to your D League finals. We'll have a little time to do that. 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 But、uh, because of your fan support,、uh, B League season 
Well, I have to say, he, that, that man does a good job. He has, to, he has to remember all of that, doesn't he? Look at this, quite dramatic as well, the <laughs> light show. I mean, he's a professional. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, Kabuki guy. I know you have your eye on that job once you stop playing, uh, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so as the players are introduced here, you know, and uh, we look at the starting five, it's going to be Josh Duncan, it's going to be Yuki Tagashi, it's going to be Takuma Sato, it's going to be Sebastian Saiz, and uh, also Shuta Hara for Chiba Jets. So no change there, and I would imagine about 350, four minutes into that first quarter, the first two players that we're going to see come off the bench are going to be Shannon Shorter and Gavin Edwards. Uh, that has been the way that Coach uh, Ono has been doing things, and uh, well, he has his rotation. And also we're going to get a look at uh, the lineup uh, for Brex. And I don't think there's a change there either. We've got LJ Peak. Yusuke Endo. Again, a member of that team that won it back in 2017. We've got uh, Ikaruga. We've got Rossiter, another member of that team that won it. And of course, we've got Josh Scott. And um, Kejuro, you know, it's the third game in four days. I, I don't think maybe fatigue is the right way to describe it, but, you know, you have the adrenaline because it, it is the B-League Finals uh, that's keeping you going. This yep. coach at Sushi Ono uh, for Chiba Jets. And, I mean, would you say that uh, the players are going to be tired, but it doesn't matter because there's going to be so much at stake that they're going to have a little extra bounce in their step? Uh, I say the adrenaline is really high, pump, uh, the pumping, but like probably body feels a little tired uh, because of the mental, physical fatigue, and also the pressure to win uh, these two games. Uh, maybe like especially the older guys like Jeff Gibbs, he's like 40 years old. Uh, you know, a young guy like Togashi, he probably doesn't feel much. So uh, uh, you have to see how the game is going, uh, today's game. Uh, especially Josh Duncan's old, uh, you know, and Ryan Rossiter have been playing a lot of games in Japan. So we have to see uh, how they're going to come out. 
Well, you can see the starting fives for both teams there uh, on the screen. Again, it's Peak, Endo, Ikaruga, Rossiter, and Scott for the Bricks. And Duncan, Tagashi, Sato, Saiz, and Hara for uh, Chiba Jets. And uh, of course, uh, one of the all time uh, most famous players, Yuta Tabusi of Brex, watching from the sidelines. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Yokohama Arena. This is the B League Finals, and Brex uh, Nation winning that opening tip and going in, and LJ Peak scoring uh, with the easiest of layups. That was a great uh, first play of the game. Uh, they ran that play and then they tried to get handled, but instead of going handle, they got good back cut, wide open layup, start a good game. And a little bit of a shaky start for Tagashi, who uh, got into the lane pretty easily. Uh, I don't know if he anticipated a block, but he really threw his uh, threw the ball high off the glass and missed it badly. Ikaruga, number 18, spins, puts up another layup. I think that's the uh, size and physical difference against Kogashi. Uh, well, that was a big, that was a big shot there by Sato. I mean, he needs to make that one, doesn't he? He's wide open. You don't want to let this Brex team uh, start to build a lot of momentum quickly. Although they have had three consecutive layups. Wow. And one coming as well for Ikaruga. That's the move. Like I said, you know, Kogashi is a little small, not physical. So if you get screened by big guys, it's too late. And Ikaruga is really physical. And he's very smart for you uh, to, to finish inside the paint. Well, alarm bells uh, must be ringing over there on the sideline for Coach Ono. Uh, his team has given up three layups, and the game is not even a minute and a half old. Now, foul, long way from the basket, has been called on Yusuke Endo. I hope Rev doesn't call, you know, Tic Tac fouls because you know this is game three. Uh, you know I won't let players play, and it's going to be a lot of physical battle. So I won't let the game come to the players. Let it flow. Size scores yeah. down low. The Spain international. Looks for space, puts one up, guarded by Endo, and sides with uh, the first of many rebounds. No doubt for him today. Tagashi back to size. Now Shudohara good. Well, that's a nice response by the Chiba Jets. Yep. It's good to have uh, Sato and Hara hitting the first, uh, first shot. That, that gives Motogashi or other bigs to open up and attack inside. Well, a lot of red shirts underneath the basket at that time, and they come up with the rebound. Sides again, takes it all the way. Very long, very tall, very athletic. Sebastian Seiss off to a good start for the Chiba Jets. Ikaruga, and he misses, and the basketball will stay at this end. Yeah, he missed the layup, but, you know, he got to the paint too easily. You know, uh, if big man has to show, he drive, then it would, it would leave like big man to be wide open. So 
Togashi needs to do a better job staying in front of him. The referee got together and decided to change it and to award the basketball to Cuba Jets. Sato gets into the lane, takes a difficult shot, and that was a good box out by Ryan Rossiter. Now Pete gets in the paint, and another layup. What is going on? And M1 coming as well for Pete. That was just a bad, uh, bad shot by Sato. Uh, creating disadvantage on defense if he was able to take advantage and attack. So not just playing great defense, you have to play good offense to set up your good defense. Kudahara decides to pass it and Sato misses from the left corner. Kudahar guarding Rossiter. Rossiter decides to pass back to Endo. And look at Rossiter. The extra effort is uh, incredible from Ryan Rossiter. That's good that Togashi was trying to box out Ryan Rossiter, even though he got called for foul. But that shows that he wants to get the board. Yeah, it really shows that they realize that they've got to go to go to war in there with those guys if they're going to have a chance to win this game. Fujima in the game now. And Rossiter goes up against Sias and is uh, pushed back out. And you get the feeling that Sias is ready today. He's uh, got the assignment of Rossiter. And Rossiter puts it up from deep. Gavin Edwards in the basketball game, as well as Shannon Shorter, and doesn't stop Josh Scott from going to work. Togashi picked up his second foul, so yeah, he has to sit out. So not the uh, not the start that Togashi was looking for. And uh, the free throw, that free throw there makes it a two-point lead. So Ikaruga does his job. And Shannon Shorter and Gavin Edwards, let's we'll see what type of imprint they can leave on the game. Goodness gracious, are they going to count it? And what a play <laughs> from Seba Saiz. That was great defense for Brex. He is even trying to take a charge, but he's a little, little bit slow. Wasn't quite there, what was he? Finish by Saiz. So the three-point play by Sebastian Saiz. Nope. Puts yeah, Chiba Jets back in there. front. The team, team defense was great before that. Oh, they get it. They loop it down low to Josh Scott. Tell what the shooting percentage is. Uh, they're going to be very high in this game for Usonomiya if they continue to get the ball down low. Nishimura over to Saiz. He's in the flow. Oh, he banks it in. Did you hear him call glass on that? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> the bank is open in like 7 p.m. in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> he just made a deposit. Gavin Edwards reaches in, takes it away. Now size. Uh, I think he traveled. Careless ball handling. I think.
he's got Ikaruga who turned it over. Masai's is already 10 points. And Karen Chiba just team. Yeah, he has definitely come to play today. Now, Ikaruga. Uh, Jeff Gibbs in the game, battling for the rebound. They scrap, and they get tied up, and the possession area goes over to Chiba Jets. That was a great hustle by Nishimura. You know, the ball's on the ground, and he dies. Every possession counts in this game three and final. Coach Lippin also in the game, number four. We know what he can do in terms of uh, his one-on-one -on -one play. Very important player in the grand scheme of things. Shorter, meanwhile, he had the path to the basket, then he kind of uh, dribbled it off his leg. Good hands by somebody. Well, the first two games uh, ended up being blowouts. Uh, so far, this one looks like it's going to be tight, uh, perhaps until the finish. Hiyajima gets it back, puts it up. That was a confident move by Hiyajima. Wow. He stayed through it. You know, he almost lost it, but he was focused and then finished. Very crowded paint. Gavin Edwards! Yeah. Wow. The three-pointer for Chiba Jets. Uh, coach Anzai, who's uh, seeking his first title as the head coach of the Brex, uh, calls timeout nearly seven minutes into the game. That's tough to defend, isn't it, uh, Kejuro? When, when you have a yep. big like mm -hmm. Edwards that can pop out and hit the three. I think that was a little bit of miscommunication by Brex. Uh, I think two guys went to the ball and leave Gavin wide open. Maybe that was a switch uh, with Josh Scott and Watanabe, then that would have happened. So even though like miscommunication on defense, you know, to turn the ball over on offense, that little mistake has to be, you know, lowered in both teams. I mean, that was a terrific finish by Hiyajima. I mean, even as he made that shot, he was under incredible pressure there by Co, Co Flippin. That's a very important basket for him, isn't it? I mean, I think he, you know, just kind of illustrates, mm -hmm. you know, he has been under some pressure. And to stay with it uh, the way that he did, that's a good sign for him the rest of this game. Yuta Tobuse yeah, also uh, offering his encouragement. Yeah, I think if he scored first basket in first quarter, he probably feel comfortable, you know. Uh, now he probably believes that he, he doesn't have to score, you know, first basket. Well, dangerous pass. He's able to get to Watanabe. Or Watanabe, rather, excuse me, and he misses. Not shorter. Back to Nishimura. And a little long. Jets with the long rebound. Nijima hands it off to Scott. Now Gibbs, is he going to try his luck? No, he's going to pass it back out. Ikaruga tries to get the bounce pass. Shot clock, and they do get the shot off in the nick of time. Nijima, uh, but it was short. Good defense by the Chiba Jets. Shorter from the elbow. Igaruga with a spin. Scott, interesting match up there with Edwards. Down to six. It's good defense by Chiba. 
They have two consecutive Wait, great for 21, uh, 21 seconds, and then they got a the rebound. I think last two possessions, she was playing really good defense. Nishimura pulls up just behind the stripe, and he is fouled as well by Watanabe. Oh, the Chiba Jets searching for their first B League title. What? Uh, Watanabe just a little slow getting back into position. That was a great move by Nishimura. He rejected the ball screen and then he kind of looked the back and then see where Watanabe is coming. And then be able to get a you know three-point play, even though he makes the free throw. Ujima. Uh, drops in. Oh boy, that was a nice acrobatic finish. Yeah, that was very uh, tough finish, but he jump stop and it got contact with Shannon Shorter. Great finish. Now he gets out on Shorter and Rossiter with the rebound. Hands it off to Tevs. He hands it off to Gibbs. Wide open shot. Hiyajima. Hiyajima gets it back. Puts it up again. Tevs blanketing shorter. They had a foul to give, so. Yep. I mean, Hiyajima had three good open looks and then just couldn't make it. Shigehiro Taguchi makes his first appearance, comes in for Cove Flippin. The final 10 seconds kicking off the clock here in the first quarter. Chiba Jets with possession. Up by three. Shorter drives in. Rossiter has just enough time. They're going to get a shot here. He puts it up. Couldn't get the drop. That would have tied it if he had made it. And Shannon Shorter stays down at the other end. Uh, this team uh, leads it 21 to 18 at the end of one. And we're now going to take a break and look at the top game winners of the season. ケリーのシュート。決まった。なんという劇的な終わり方。いやいやいやいや、これは。残りは5秒。最後のシュートは誰に勝ったのかが。もうシュートは決めてきた。0.5秒で決めてきました。倒されながらのサンショット。後半最後のタイム。大藤井が走った。藤井が走って。スピボットを踏んで藤井決めた。藤井だ。やはり4コーター0.7秒まだある。カーターのロングスコアは本日回。ああ。藤井が決めた。最
Tagashi, who struggled in game two on the bench now. He's picked up two fouls early in this game. Titans. Watanabe. Gibbs. And the 40-year-old Gibbs misses. has been good. Here he is launching it, and another one. Well, we thought the point guard had to have a big game today, but we were thinking it was going to be Tagashi, but instead it's been Nishimura wow. who's come out and delivered. Kaitev's left wide open from the right. And yeah, Nishimura is a huge, uh, huge uh, piece of this Chiba Jets, because when Tagashi doesn't play well, you know, we can count on Nishimura because he always delivers. He's like the mailman, isn't he? He delivers. Here's uh, Gavin Edwards again. He started <laughs> yeah. well from outside. And that was again crea created by Nishimura. Uh, pick and roll and, you know, he was able to dime right on the pass. Excellent analysis from Keijiro Matsui, and here's the rebound, and uh, again, another miss, and, and right now, the Brett's finding it awfully difficult uh, to put the ball in the basket. Josh Duncan looks like he's been called for a foul here, getting tangled up with Ryan Rossiter. So wholesale substitutions. The starters come back in for the Bricks, who are struggling offensively right now. Yeah, I think they need uh, like what what can get offensively because right now shots are not falling. Uh, they might need to attack inside or post up. Okay, Pete. This is an open one. Worrying times for the Bricks. by eight points. And it goes to Duncan. Good pump fake and gets the friendly roll right at the end. The lead throws to 10 points. And timeout has been called by Anzai, who is, uh, well, I mean, what, what do you think, Kajiro? He's got to come up with something different. Uh, on offense, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. Uh, offensively, you know, the pick and roll uh, is not very working right now. Uh, and also, nobody's really comfortable making uh, making any shooting the basketball. Um, so maybe they need to go maybe Josh Scott or, you know, Ryan Rossiter inside or pick and, uh, pick and pop. And also, maybe defensively, they're not stopping Nishimura and Gavin Edward pick and roll. So. Maybe they had to play zone or matchup. Uh, they need to do something to change the rhythm. But you just don't know really from one game to the next which player is going to step up. Today it has been Nishimura off the bench. Coming in for Yuki Togashi who uh, picked up two early fouls. And uh, as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nishimura stays in the game with Shorter. Co uh, Flippin does come back in. Oh, no, sorry. Shigehiro Toguchi is in. Uh, so Flippin stays on the bench. Yeah, Toguchi Gavin is Edwards. a very good shooter. Uh, so when Nishimura, Gavin, Edwards, uh, pick and roll happens, you know, the defense might collapse and then Toguchi will be wide open. Josh Scott, quiet start for him. Gets in the paint. They pass it back outside. Now Pete drives in, misses badly, and Duncan just, uh, boy, he took that rebound, didn't he? Yeah. I think uh, Josh Scott maybe needs to shoot that basketball, and Ikaruga didn't even look the basket. He just passed through the peak, so 
Everybody has to be a threat offensively for Brex. So, Duncan called for a moving screen. And Sebastian Size comes back. Size had a great uh, first quarter. Rossiter, she's open, so says, why not? And that's why, because he drills it. That was a big, big, big score by Brex. Uh, it was good pick and, uh, pick and roll, but he's not the uh, small guards of pick, uh, screening for the bigs, and Ryan Rossiter was able to have a wide open look. Mura from a long way out. Well, he just hit one, but Rossiter passes it. Now Indo left open. That's back-to-back -back threes here for this uh, Brex team. As they cut what was a 10-point deficit down to just four. Yep, like I said, three point is the key for the game three. In the first quarter, Chiba Jets, everyone is hitting threes. Nishimura hit threes. And now, you know, Ryan Rossiter and Endo hit back to back threes. And now it's, it's four point game. So I think three point game, especially today's games, is so crucial. And everybody knows that. And players that who can hit three point consistently are very, very uh, important pieces for the team. Well, Brex fans, uh, no doubt, breathing a sigh of relief as uh, their team was in danger of falling behind by a, a little bit further. Uh, but it was uh, briefly in double digits. Now Rossiter and Indo have hit three-pointers. And in terms of the three-point shooting today, uh, the Brex have two of 13. They're two of 13, I believe. So it's been a struggle for them. Five of nine, meanwhile, for Chiba Jets. Yeah, I think Chiba is just a uh, much better uh, percentage uh, and also much better open look uh, for different players. And not just one guy hitting three. I guess multiple guys are hitting three, so that is a very good sign. Nishimura uh, slow to, to get up. That's interesting. Is that a foot issue? Walking around gingerly. That's what happens. Oh. Oh, like hip. So Indo kind of like stepped on it and then he tried to get away. So it looks a bit awkward, but he looks okay now. Side for three. Edwards follows. Boy, Edwards, he was taken over, but he didn't finish. Good that he instead of for the jump shot, he was under control and I tried to attack inside and then nice little bump against shorter and to be able to finish. Seven points for Pete. No flipping back into the game. Once he got up on him, didn't allow the jump shot. Edwards almost lost it. Ends up hitting a little fadeaway jumper.
zigzagging his way into the lane. And Josh Scott with the follow. But he was able to get a tip because uh, Ikaruga was able to attack and then uh, create a little bit of, you know, gap and let the bigs help. That's why Josh Scott was able to get a nice open look. ですね。いや、これです。この後。ボールですね。すいません。ビハインドザックスが。わっと行きます。と、言わなくならせる。さあ、今度は友達。この点を取られた後すぐに取り返す。ああ、おしゃれなパスがあった。この第4クオーターで
But Brett's defense got a lot better, uh, especially pick and roll. Uh, they were able to switch with Nishimura. And when the mismatch happened, you know, three-man rotation, when the Jeff gets rotating for the big, then be able to, gotta, uh, be able to get a steal. Uh, and Chiba couldn't get the ball inside the paint at all. So Tagashi has indeed returned with just under three minutes to go. Remember, he's got the two fouls. And maybe it's co flipping time for Chiba Jets. Rossiter loses it. Tagashi, open floor. And pulls it back. He was tempted to launch it. Maybe Togashi needs to attack right here. They got Ryan Rossett in. Oh, what a great rebound by Coach Lippin. Togashi open for three. Well, there you go. An offensive rebound turns into three points. Yep. For Chiba Jets. Terrific offensive rebound by Coach Lippin. That was a good three point by Togashi. He probably feels good right now. Well, coming right back and striking from downtown was Makoto Hiyajima. So the two Japan now national I'm teams. I'm talking about Togashi and Hiyajima's game going. Now this is the game three or final. And good play by Rossiter to deny size. And Shudahara reaches in. Chiba had a foul to give with a minute and a half remaining here in the first half. Well, I'll tell you, it was a big shot by Takashi and maybe an even bigger shot by Hiyajima to hit that three-pointer. Yep, I think so. But, but this last minute and a half is going to be very crucial for both teams. Peak. Spins his way into the lane, passes it back outside to Hiyajima. Hiyajima gets his feet And they have turned the basketball over. time at the end of the first half here. Sagashi. The game is tied. Gets it to Duncan. Great penetration. Good catch and strong finish by Josh Duncan. That was a great play by Togashi. Peak, meanwhile, tries to answer. And he draws the foul on Shizuhara. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I know that Pete can hit some big shots, but I like it when he puts pressure on the defense and attacks the basket. Good things tend to happen. Yep, I think so. Especially like Ikaruga, Peak, they are really physical. Uh, if they attack, even though uh, the uh, defense is right next to you, you can just bully him and then get a foul. And maybe create, you know, big mental help. awarded to Brett. No, I think I think the referee got it right. So another timeout and uh, 
Well, you miss the free throws, but then you don't now box out. Time out, so you know, special, special draw play. That was the big three by Tagashi, which uh, you would have thought it was going to give them a little bit of momentum, and it would certainly be good for Tagashi. But then Hiyajima happened right to the other end, and he drilled a three-pointer. So we continue to have a very close game three here in Yokohama City. Look at Hiyajima. Well, it's good to see him uh, find his stroke here. Yeah, hopefully uh, second half, you know, these two going to make uh, carry the offensively in both teams. is going to inbound the basketball. Yajima spins, puts it up, and gets it to go. So Yajima is uh, heating up, folks. He's now got seven points. That was good one-on-one uh, -on -one offense by Yajima because he knew he, Togashi was guarding him. There's no way he can block Yajima's shot. Winding down, Tagashi brings a little bit of rain with that miss, and then Coach Lippin steals it right at the end, but only grazes the net with his attempt. So at halftime, it is uh, Chiba Jets and Usonomiya Brex nodded at 35. Look at that. Wow. Incredible. Here we are. Wow. <laughs> Kejuro. Kejuro, we wanted a yep. tight game three. We've got the tight game three, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I don't know which way this one's going to go. I really don't. It's difficult to say. No, I, I, I don't either. Uh, you know, it's 35-35 uh, piece. Uh, Chiba played well first uh, five, first couple of minutes of the first half, and then Brex just came in, and he does two threes, and the momentum kind of changed a little bit. Uh, now Togashi hit one three. He hit Jima hit another three. So it's like a back and forth for both teams, and uh, no foul trouble for anybody. So second half is going to be, you know, uh, for best of tw best of 20 minutes for both teams. It, it feels in a way like Chiba Jets uh, perhaps had an opportunity when they went up by 10 points. But again, I mm -hmm. guess that just kind of illustrates how big of a shot that was by Ryan Rossiter. Uh, you know, to take that shot down 10, if he misses that and Chiba Jets go to the other end and score, it starts to potentially get ugly. So Rossiter really does seem to be like the man for the uh, uh, for the big. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, player. up ten by Chiba. If Chiba can score, you know, multiple. Yep, I uh, think that, you know, uh, Ryan hit those uh, threes. Uh, you know, Brex kind of got a little bit, you know, you know comfortable uh, answer. And uh, Chiba could, when they're up by 10 points, Chiba should know that that was the time to up by 15 or 20 points. Uh, now, you know, the game is back in 35 piece and Brex probably felt comfortable uh, because they know that, if they were down by 10, they still can come back. Uh, so if Chiba needs to win this game badly, they had to be up 10 or 15 points in the second half. 
So it, it's, a, it's a game three. It's, uh, you know, you've got all different types of dynamics here. Brex, they won it in year one. Uh, the B-League, uh, of course, uh, Alvark, Toyota won it uh, in years two and years three. Last year, the coronavirus pandemic spoiled basketball in most places, and we didn't have the final. Uh, but this year, we've come back. And the big difference is we have the game three, which we talked about. Uh, it gives these teams uh, a chance to get a bad game out of their system. Uh, both teams did have one bad game in this finals. Uh, so, you know, here we are. And I, I guess in a way for, for the Japanese B-League, this is perfect. This is exactly what they were looking for. So we are going to uh, leave it there, folks. It is, uh, we're at halftime, and uh, it's 35-35, in fact, in the Nisei, Nisei B-League Finals. And let's go on to the next segment of the show. Here, we will be explaining and introducing to the viewers attractions of the B-League that are not well known yet. Call, what's up, B-League? Point two. Asian player quotas. It's a new rule started from this season. Each team will be able to sign with one player from China, Chinese Taipei, Indonesia, Philippines, or Korea. And they do not count as the foreign player quotas. There are two main reasons. Number one, improving the competitiveness of the B League. It increases the opportunities to play against great players in Asia on a daily basis and also to deal with excessive playing time of foreign players. Number two, business standpoint. It enables the league to explore the Asia market, sponsorships and broadcasting rights. There are currently three players playing under Asian player quotas. Jin Liu from China playing for Nishinomiya Storks. Jamie Yang from Korea playing for Shinshu Brave Warriors and 30 Ravenna from Philippines playing for San and Neo Phoenix who have made a major impact on league's Asian market strategies. I heard some rumors that more and more players are coming. Who do you want next? <laughs> ベンドラメ、ハンドルが来た。差し出した。ゴールを持って残り 3秒。すごい。このスピードでファーストコーナーできなかったというところだ。これで終わりのカッスリーポイントが決まりました。これが。ああ、富樫、さすがのこのシュート精度がありました。いやもうね、今完全時間もね、見ながら。残りが5秒になる砂山、ここ
トップオブザビーからのディープスリー、この勝負どころをねじ込みました、えー、そうですね、はい、これ、ファウル2回できるんで、えー、多分切り刻むと思うんですよね、見せるとすぐダブルチームを取ってきます、はい、渋谷です、田中から須田のスリー須田は今シーズンがスリーポイント、ポジション横浜、残り15秒を切りました。なり文化なりに自分自身が本当にこう救われてきたという印象がございます、多分今日のこの試合も誰かにとっては救いになったり、また生きる意味の一つになっているんじゃないかなと思っております、とにかく無事にこうして、まあ、B リーグの,このファイナル、迎えられたことが何より素晴らしいなと思っております、えー、泣いても笑っても残り20分でございます、いよいよお後がよろしいようで戦う人でございました。ありがとうございました。落語家の立川吉祥さんでした。今一度大きな拍手をお送りください。Well, we're at halftime, folks. It's、uh, 35 35. Utsunomiya Brex and Chiba Jets trading blows here in the exciting game three. This will determine the、uh, champion of、uh, the B League in the 2020 2021 campaign. And of course, as we have、uh, spoken about, Utsunomiya Brex、uh, winning it in year one, then、uh, followed by Alvark Toyota and back to back years beating. Uh, this Chiba Jets、uh, club. And of course, last year nobody played. So Chiba Jets、uh, really hoping、uh, that they can celebrate their first title. And of course, Brex would、uh, like to spoil their party and have one of their own、uh, by winning this、uh, prestigious title、uh, for the second time. So、uh, Utah Tobuse、uh, and、uh, Brex are, well, they trail by as many as 10 points in this game. And Uh, they've battled back. And again, just to go over some of the numbers for you, as you look at Yuki Togashi come back、uh, for the Brex, you've got、uh, three players、uh, with seven points. You've got uh, Peak, uh, Ikaruga, and、uh, Makoto Hiyajima. And、uh, also Indo, who hit a big three, he's got five points. And Rossiter,、uh, the only basket. Uh, that Ryan Rossiter has scored, interestingly,、uh, was that three pointer.、Uh, but it happened to be a huge three、uh, because at the time his team, Brex, were trailing by 10 points. And for Chiba Jets,、uh, they're being led by Sebastian Seitz, who had 10 points in the first quarter,、uh, four of seven from the floor.、Uh, however, Seitz only has one rebound.、Uh, so from that standpoint, you have to say Brex had done a good job. Uh, keeping him off the glass. And, you know, we talk about the rebounding, and for the second consecutive game, Usonomiya Brex are, are winning that battle 18 to 15. So,、uh, from that standpoint,、uh, Kejuro, you know,、yep. I think Brex have to feel really good about themselves. Yeah, I think so too, because the、uh, rebounding is going to be key、uh, that everybody's going to say.、Uh, even though they're not shooting the ball very well, but rebounding. Probably make this game, you know, in 35 piece. And also the team defense,、uh, even though right here Gavin e d w a r d made a shot, but、uh, team defense was great uh, consistently uh, second half, a、uh, second quarter. So a、uh, little bit of pressure on, I think, Chiba Jets.、Uh, if the three pointer is not falling in the second half, how are they going to respond?、Uh, and Togashi hit this big three, so hopefully he's going to get going. Uh, for the Chiba Jets. Yeah, for Chiba, I, you know, I really feel like、uh, you, know, you need size to be very active. You need、uh, that man right there. He really、mm -hmm. needs to turn it up a notch,、uh, I think, in the second half、uh, for Chiba Jets、uh, to have a chance. Yujima,、yeah. we saw him kind of、uh, fight through some. 
personal adversity, some demons or whatever, and I thought really did, did well in that first half. But again, as you look at the overall numbers, uh, the 18 to 15 advantage for Usonomia Brex over Chiba Jets, uh, the three-point shot has been bigger for Chiba Jets in that first half. You know, how crucial is it for, for Brex to get Ryan Rossiter uh, going more in the offense? Uh, like, I think, you know, he wants to get involved with his teammates a lot. Uh, but, like, when team needs points, I think he's going to uh, get some shots up. Like, we, like when we saw when they were down 10, you know, Ryan Rossiter hit those crucial three. So when team needs something, I think Ryan's going to deliver it. Well, they have had, uh, Chiba Jets have had six different players hit three-pointers, including this one by Sebastian Seiss, who, by the way, did call bank on that. <laughs> <laughs> and Nishimura as well, who so often comes into a game and he has you know, a uh, one-and-a-half to three-minute flurry where he's uh, arguably the best player on the court, and that was kind of the, the case today. He really came out and made an impact for Chiba Jets uh, when his team was struggling. But impressive, again, for Hiyajima. You know, we, he was under pressure coming into this game, wasn't he? And this was his yeah. first shot. Yeah, definitely. You know, he knows that he hasn't played well and not very contributed to the team. So... This is his last chance to show to the, his teammates and team and also the, you know, Breck fans and the whole Jet, Jet, Japan basketball people that, you know, he belongs to, you know, uh, he's, a, he's a star of the national team and represents Japanese basketball. So, I mean, he scored seven points, you know, a lot better than, you know, first two games in the first half. So hopefully he get double digit uh, and carry this team again. So if you're Julio Lamas and you're watching this game, uh, are you uh, particularly intrigued by anything and are you learning anything about your players? Uh, I think, you know, uh, maybe he should, uh, you know, bring like Nishimura or like Cole Flip in. And also, you know, a lot of young guys like Harashuda is playing well too. So uh, he needs to consider maybe uh, not just uh, already the star players, but also like other other players that are really young and then getting developed. Yeah, it's interesting that you said that about Co Flippin. Maybe he is uh, a player that has raised eyebrows. You know, Julio Lamas comes from Argentina and he's now coaching the Japan national team. He coached Argentina's national team. And of course they had a very uh, a diminutive Facundo Campazzo uh, where size doesn't really matter. You know, you get out there and maybe that type of player can really make a difference uh, for Japan. Who knows? Yeah, that's true. I think he, Cole Felipe is still young. He's still learning the basketball, the game of the basketball, and his, uh, his potential is, you know, a sky limit. Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's improving every game, so. Okay, sir, I'm very excited here. Second half, that action now underway in game three of the B-League finals. Uh, Hart uh, gets in there, puts up his first attempt. Sato tries to follow it up. Not, uh, maybe not the best decision. He should have just pulled that ball down and taken it back outside. We're all hey, I don't know what... I don't know how Chiba just draw the first play of Hara Shooters going to the basket or pick and roll with Josh Duncan. Uh, I guess that wasn't uh, that wasn't very successful. So Brett's looking to uh, take the lead. They've been trailing uh, all along. Now Rossiter misses, and Tagashi has it. I think Chiba just made an adjustment right there. Uh, pick and roll, they switch. And then especially Togashi's guarding, guarding uh, Ryan Ross is going to be mismatched. So he switched again with the Hara shooter. It's like a three-man rotation. Yep, one of the halftime adjustments. And Indo called for the foul. And uh, Anzai doesn't waste any time at all. He brings Endo out of the game. 
Endo just picked up his third foul and he's brought in uh, Iojima. Duncan from the arc. Good! Well, you talked about it, the three-point shot, yep. how crucial it is for Chiba <laughs> Jets, and uh, Duncan just drilled another one, another player to hit a three. I mean, he's so good. He can score from three-point, inside, post up. You know, he's a bad player, so he experienced a lot of basketball in his career, and he delivered it. Boy, what, what a uh, terrific play by Ika Ruga to get it inside to Josh Scott. And then Duncan, uh, his reaction, I think, probably tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> Maybe uh, unfortunate to get this. Well, no, that's a that's a good call by the referee. Yeah, I think I mean, so. It's 50-50, isn't it? But, I mean, mm -hmm. the contact is there. Yep. You know, you know, Duncan tried to be straight up, but it was a little too slow and a little too late. And then Josh Scott knew he was late, so he kind of like bumped into it to draw a foul. And I think it's important also uh, that Josh Scott get more involved. He was so crucial in that game two win. So a good start for him. So we saw Duncan hit a three. Now, who else is going to launch one? Tara gets it over the size from just inside the top of the key. Good job by Hiajima to uh, get rid of the basketball. Now he gets it back. Pete. Ikaruga over to Hiyajima. Well short. Yeah, I think Ryan could just shot it, or maybe Ikaruga could have shot it too. You know, I think Breck teammates, uh, they're trying to get Hiyajima going too much. I can see. They're forcing it. Yeah. Well, size rebounds with this. Here he goes again, Tagashi, he dunked it. Bounce pass, Rossiter, good! Wow, finish. That was a very difficult shot. He was almost behind the backboard. Yeah, and he and he made it with his right hand on the left side of the basket. Hara. And Josh Scott rebounds the miss. Here comes the Brex with a one-point lead. And nobody picks up the man with the mask. Ryan Rossiter. And Brex move up by three points. Surely somebody has to get in his way here. It's way too easy. Yes. I think everybody went to offensive rebound too much for cheaper Jets and then create out of, out of number for transition defense. And this was Rosser scoring that very difficult shot. Like I said, when Togashi is involved with pick and roll defense, you know, Ryan Rossiter says good screen that creates, you know, a two on one situation. And then nice pick and roll, and then Ikaruga gave a nice little dime and then be able to finish. So uh, Chiba just need to solve the problem of pick and roll defense with Togashi. to bring Shannon Shorter into the game as well as Gavin Edwards for Chiba Jets. Tushio Ono hoping these two veterans can make a difference here early in the second quarter, or the second half rather. 
Mara able to get in, but he gets swatted by Peak. And then quickly up it goes. And a foul on Tagashi before the shot. I mean, that was a good foul by Togashi, even though he's, he picked up his third foul, but he didn't give an easy two points for his team. We're well, gonna look and see if that was unsportsmanlike, I think. I hope he doesn't get uh, unsportsman like foul. The game is so close and so good. Well, they gave it, didn't they? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gosh, you can't believe it. <laughs> Potentially a very big decision in the grand scheme of things. Gashi. Three fouls, goes to the bench. He's giving up the enforcement light. The team's trailing by three points. And here Jamin does not punish him, at least fully. What has to happen now for this Achiba Jets team uh, with their star on the bench? Uh, I think Nishimura and Cole Flippin, uh, they need to... Uh, create the offense and also like size and uh, Gavin Edwards, they need to get offensive rebounds to get multiple possessions for Chiba Jets. First at this end, they've got to get stopped. Four point deficit now. Yajima steps into it. The battle for the rebound. Boy, that was a, a real scrap. And Shorter able to get rid of the basketball. Uh, but Yajima him. So Hiyajima makes the one of two free throws, but it wasn't a disaster uh, for Chiba Jets. Now the uh, good defense and the ball goes out of bounds, but there will be plenty of time on the shot clock. Good A yeah, very good physical Ikaruga. denied by Ikaruga. This is the part that I like. Yeah, and dive in the ball. He doesn't give up on it. Shorter. He had to be thinking about launching it, but he came out to guard him. Let's go flipping, but a foul called on the peak. Before that, I don't think Shannon Shorter knew the shot clock. Because if he knew it, he would just pull up. But he passed to the full flipping in the last two seconds. No flipping. Gavin Edwards and another foul on Hiyajima. I think he needs to take Hiyajima out. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he is. I mean, he can be very explosive, you know, offensively, but he's not. The game needs to come to him, I guess. He's kind of forcing himself a lot of shots. Shorter battles his way into the paint and scores. Hiyajima, back to peak. Neither of these teams are seemingly able 
us to uh, to build any decisive momentum. Yep. Edwards battling away with Scott. Oh, Scott oh, won that block. one big time. Not in my house, he says. Oh, beautiful pass back to Rossiter. And uh, Rossiter runs the floor so well. Good. Real assist there for Hiyajima. Hiyajima just players need to know when to go to offensive rebound and when not to go because they, they can't just give a too uh, easy wide open layup. Well, the bigs right now uh, are doing a job down low for Brex, and here they are hustling and stealing the ball. Boy, almost. He was ruled out of bounds, Pete, with the effort, the hustles there. I think Brex just playing a lot be a lot harder uh, than Chiba Jets. You, you see Peak is trying to get steal and then die, uh, lose ball, chase the loose ball. And this is just casual pass by Cole Flippin and Gavin Edwards didn't really post post up. But Chiba Jets need to refocus mentally. Usually when you put in Shorter and Gavin Edwards, that's what you're getting. You're getting that refocus, but in this case, it doesn't seem to be the case. And uh, Duncan has come back in for Sebastian Size, who looked uh, relatively ineffective uh, for what he usually does. Shorter from deep. And, oh boy, they catch a break, don't they? It grazed wow. the rim, they save it in bounds, and they get a dunk from Edwards. That's why you never give up until, you know, the whistle blows. Because uh, Brex players thought that they were going to be out of bounds. Watanabe back in, number 13 for Brex. Rossiter. And who have they called that on? Gibbs or Rossiter? I think Gibbs on a moving screen. I think he tried to uh, hit the body, but he was moving. Gibbs. Go flip it. Pass it off to Edwards. Living dangerously, Edwards has to pass it back outside. Go flip in from the arc. Wow. Goodness gracious. <laughs> well, that was a better offense. Good he defense, the better offense. Key. Wow. Probably the ideal person to, uh, to attempt a shot like that in that situation. Rossiter guarded by Sh Shannon Shorter. And terrific work by Shannon Shorter. Rossiter maybe panicked a little bit. There's still a few seconds on the shot clock. So, Tebs and... Uh, Takeuchi are going to come into the game. First appearance in the game for Takeuchi. Tevs was, uh, I thought, pretty good in the first half when he entered the game. Good two yeah, points. I think so too. Yep. He, looked he scored that beautiful layup, didn't he? It was like a twisting layup. Some players only score in spectacular fashion, and I think that's Tevs. <laughs> Here's Coach Lippin. He's another one. Duncan. Has to pass it back outside. Edwards pump fake. He goes in and oh boy, again another break. Wow. And look at Gavin Edwards at the right place at the right time for the <laughs> second time in the last few minutes. That was crazy possession because Jeff Gibbs had the ball and then he was about to get a transition offense and then Gavin just stole it and then. Three point, uh, two points, and then maybe another one point from uh, the Chiba Jets. Oh, the pump fake is so good. That was good defense by Gibbs. But then you put the ball on the floor, and I guess that's the danger. Instead of passing it, it's a good save by Endo. And a good steal by Duncan. <laughs> so 
Well, Tagashi having to uh, settle for uh, being a spectator, really, in this <laughs> game. He's played 11 minutes. He's got three points. He does have three assists, but uh, he's got the three personal fouls. And, you know, in my opinion, uh, Brex should be on top by even more. There's just been a couple of fluky plays that have gone the, the way of Chiba Jets that have really helped them with Gavin Edwards involved in both. Yeah, I think so. Uh, like Jeff Gibbs, uh, illegal uh, moving screen, and then you know, got stolen underneath the basket. You know, so like two possession in a row, you know, Brex didn't convert. So uh, if Brex needs to play a little bit, you know, uh, more carefully and offensively, I mean, they should be good to go. This, this is what we want, Kijiro, isn't it? A tight yeah. game three. Yep. Uh, the winner. Is the tight game to go in the fourth league. quarter. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Edwards does not complete the three-point play. Endo passes up the shot to Takeuchi. Gets it back. Shot clock down to five. It's go time. Ted has to put up a difficult shot. Almost banked it in. Shorter. Just goes all the way. Oh. He plays with so much emotion. Chapman Shorter. And suddenly the pressure on this uh, Rex team again. Endo from the right. Boy, that was huge. Yeah, that's good. Because uh, he's so good in the spot of threes. And he's a very good defender. So if he doesn't get in any foul trouble, I think he should stay on the court longer. Now shorter shot clock about to expire. He has to launch it. Very poor possession for Chiba Jets having to settle for that. And look at Ted! Races down, but excellent work at the end by Edwards to get the block. What a sequence that was. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Kai Tevs. I mean, look at this. I love the aggressive play by Tevs, but Edwards just hustled back and got the swat. And... I'm not sure what the play, but there yeah, was a I think, foul I think that was Takeuchi called. kind of tried to bump Josh Duncan, and then he was kind of hell with the arm, so he got called for a foul. I mean, again, this is right here. Uh, you know, four point swing. If he made two free throws, you know, missed uh, block, block layup, and then two free throws. And once again, for whatever reason, it seems like <laughs> Gavin Edwards is, in, is involved in everything that's happening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Duncan makes the first and the second. So he's got nine points. The leading score is Gavin Edwards with 11. Uh, and size has 10 from, this, from that good start in the first quarter, but it hasn't really been that influential since. Endo, another wow. three! Wow! Mr. Big Clutch. shot by Endo. <laughs> yeah. He really he's making has hit some big shots. Yeah, he's making shots and he also guarding the shoulder. Well, this will be a tough ask right here. They switch. Gibbs comes out on short. Oh! Almost traveled. And he passed it down low and good defense at the end. I don't think Shannon Shorter had the answer. And Endo perhaps uh, sliding into the favorite of, uh, I don't know, MVP talk maybe. He's hit some big shots today. His team now knots it at 50 at the end of three quarters. So 
but now we're going to look at the top plays from the semifinals. Uh, Kajiro. Uh, I mean, he is the pioneer of everything. Uh, he is the first seven play to play NBA. Now Scott. And he's got N1. He called it. Over to Coach Lippin. Decides to go to the basket. Oh, what about that? I thought he was going to do a pump fake and go up, and then he ended up going. That was uh, Xavier winning the battle against Notre Dame. And Tagashi hits the three. Wow. We saw that yesterday. They were excellent in game two. Udohara drives in, and there was the putback by Saiz. Hijima. Scott Gibbs Rossiter together with Ikaruga on the floor. Hiyajima for three. Yes! Well, we saw the trophy of the B-League. Uh, everybody wants to get their hands on it, including Endo, who has just been terrific. You talked about him being a great spot-up shooter when he gets his feet set. And uh, he has delivered today. Yep, I think he he hit the first shot of this game, so he probably felt comfortable of his shooting touch. And you know when, like he he had experience winning championship at this stage in first B League year. So him and Ryan Rossiter, obviously Tabu said those guys experienced it. So he he knows this this moment right here. He is waiting for this moment to come. Well, he's three of five from three-point range. Endo, here he is again. He drives right in, and he is uh, tough to contain. Puts the pressure on that defense. The foul is called. So, uh, Kajuro, the attendance today, 4,785. Of course, it would be uh, capacity. If it were loud, but because of the uh, pandemic, it's not. But that is a huge number, uh, considering, or a very impressive number anyway. Yeah, very impressive. Yep. It, and it's, it it's Tuesday like. night, so it's like a weekdays. But, you know, a lot of fans came in support. Well, the foul called. And, again, this uh, you kind of feel right now with the Brex that they are they're going for it. And once again, Gavin Edwards in the mix picks up the foul. Yajima has we've seen the good, the bad, the ugly from him today. He has uh, overall, I'd say, been average three of ten from the floor. He's got nine points now, three rebounds, two assists. The player who has not shown up really has been Tagaki, uh, the former league MVP. Uh, he got into foul trouble, and uh, but when he's been in the game, he really hasn't been that influential. He's got three points. He's one of four from the floor, and he's got three assists. And you know, as Sushi Ono right now thinks Tagashi doesn't need to be on the floor. He's got Mishimura back in there. Another foul called. Certainly offensively, Kai Tevs is uh, just electric, isn't he? You know, if, oh, he can, yes. if, he can, if he can iron out some of his uh, inadequacies on defense, he would be uh, really good, but it's easier said than done. The battle for the rebound, and it goes back over to Brex Nation. Yeah, he has something that, you know, like not many Japanese players have, like the skills wise, like creativity. Uh, but he's a little too young right now, so he needs to know how to finish in the paint and like when to when to attack and when, when not to attack. But he will learn it eventually. Gibbs pulling his way down low. Don't tell him he's not going to score. Wow. I've seen that play Josh for the last 10 years. Wow. He just backs down with right hand. Face down and to try to bully everybody. 
Edwards passes up the three. Shot clock winding down. Shannon Shorter drives in Edwards. and scores with the left hand. He is fearless, isn't he? Yeah, he's, 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 he can finish really well. Right hand and left hand. Now Gibbs again back out. In game two is his three-point shooting that we we're marveling at, but today Gibbs is uh, really doing the business down low. Kai Tebbs, wonderful bounce pass, then into the corner to Ikaruga. Turns on the baseline. He and cannot Evan pass Edwards. up the good wide open shots. Ikaruga is a good shooter, so he can just shoot threes instead of dribbling and spinning, shooting over shoulder. Edwards had six rebounds to go with his 11 points. Nishimura for three. Shannon Shorter collects the long rebound. Edwards just goes all the way. And there for the follow is Duncan. He's surrounded. Is he going to get it off in time? And Ikaruga reaches up and says, I'm the man that committed the foul. Well, Jeff Gibbs ran at him, ran at Edwards to get him off the three-point line. And then the defense collapsed. But in the end, he goes to the line. So here's the moment really for Tagashi. And, it, you know, you have to say if you're going to if you're gonna earn the dough, you got to provide the show. And he is, uh, this is the perfect, perfect time to show that he is the best or one of the best players in Japanese basketball. Having been quiet today, he's got three points, one of four. Kejuro, do you think he's going to live up to the pressure? Is he going to meet this moment? Uh, I hope so. I mean, you know, he. I mean, he he went to the same high school with me, so I know you know players that who go to Montes Christian can deliver. There's <laughs> <laughs> like quite a few players. Kevin Durant, yeah. like Gravis Vasquez, you know, those guys that play NBA, you know, they can deliver, so. <laughs> Absolutely, all these international uh -huh. players, USA International, KD, Kevin Durant, Gravis Vasquez, the Venezuela International. Kejiro Matsui, the Japan International, now the kick. And uh, Coach Lippin, fascinating, fascinating uh, end to the season in the B League, it really is. Indo has had his moments in this game. He's got 11 points to lead Brex in scoring. Here's Rossiter. Rossiter, good! Well, Ryan Rossiter has really heated up. He only had three points at halftime, but now he's got 11. He got the quiet 11 points today. Could be that he's saving the best for last as well. Tagashi. Zan bites it in. Cometh the hour, yep. cometh the man, and Tagashi cuts it back to a one-point deficit. Ikaruga over to Rossiter, guarded by Tagashi, his Japan national team teammate. And he misses, and Saez is fouled after corralling the rebound by Peek. Goodness me, I need to go check my heartbeat on this one. This is going to be tight. <laughs> very tight, very tight. Good defense by Togashi too. No fouling, making him shoot, tough jumper. Maybe Rossiter could have tried to back him up even more there. Yeah, I totally agree. Tagashi scored the last time. Here he is again. Gets his feet wet in the lane. The battle for the rebound is Rossiter that comes down with it. Rossiter fades and size gets the rebound.
Takashi bounce pass Edwards. That was well, a good pass. to the free throw line. Absolutely was. So timeout on the court, official timeout. In fact, as again, we get a look at uh, Yuki Tagashi dumping it down low. And yeah, it was a good pass from uh, Tagashi to Edwards, who really has been, he and uh, primarily shorter, but Gavin Edwards has, uh, has just been kind of the man. And he's gonna have to go to the line now and make some free throws. See the foul trouble for both teams. Uh, the Brex have got three fouls apiece on Peak, Endo, and Hiajima. And Chiba Jets, uh, three fouls on Duncan, Tagashi. Five minutes remaining in the season, and I dare say, you never know. I mean, maybe, maybe overtime could be, could be uh, <laughs> on offer. Free yep. basketball. Overtime, the overtime is fine with me. <laughs> Boy, Yuta Tabuse is uh, looking like a nervous wreck over there, cheering on Brex today. I'm sure he'd like to be out there. Uh, but at the end of the day, everybody is living and dying by every single possession in this game as uh, Gavin Edwards goes to the line and ties it up. Boy, he has been big time. Is that someone that Gavin Edwards knows? <laughs> so, one point lead for Chiba Jets. And Ikaruga turns it over. Here's Co flipping. Oh, they get a rare chance to break. And Tagashi goes in. Wow. Good finish. Boy, you got to love how Co flipping immediately shifted into overdrive on that fast break. And Tagashi, uh, I was a little nervous about that at the end, but he was able to finish it. Chiba Jets uh, hustled down in numbers just in case he didn't make it. And now the pressure back on the Brex, trailing by three points. Tejiro, these are the moments, I, I suppose, as a professional basketball player that you live for. You want to be in, in these times, in this, you know, in your career. You want to have a chance uh, to play in games like this and to win titles. And that was the foul that was called on Shannon Shorter. Yeah, for sure. Like every everybody, every, every player wants this uh, championship game, close game, you know, four minutes to go, you know. Everybody wants to play that last four minutes. And then, and then maybe shoot the ball too. <laughs> you want to hit that game winning shot with time running out. Here's Endo. He's been big today. He doesn't hesitate. Wow, good. good shot. Boy. He is absolutely showing me something today, isn't he? 13 points. I think they should just go with Endo for pick and roll, like primary option with Endo and Ryan Rossiter. Bounce pass, Edwards. Wow. Boy, Gavin Edwards, 15 points. He has been immense. And the bounce pass was perfect. Plenty of time in this one, 347 remaining. But Chiba Jets right now with their noses in front. And once again, shorter bounce pass. Boy, what a the bounce pass. You know, it's it's in, in some cases it's a lost art. 
uh, but we mm -hmm. see the bounce pass here in Japan so often. <laughs> that is you can't true. see it enough, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody wants to see alley oop dunk, you know, uh, flashy plays. But you know, like Japanese basketball, we're not like really athletic like NBA. So you know, be be fundamental is you know key, and also like showing to the kids, you know, fundamental basketball is is where where to build at. Where uh, has Induva played for Japan before, to your knowledge? Excuse me. Uh, uh, Indo, has Indo oh. worn the national team shirt? Uh, he, I don't think he worn it yet. He's been to the like national team candidate, uh, but All I don't right. think he made it to the finish line. Uh, I mean, he's, he's definitely good, he's raising. Good. He's he has to be raising eyebrows, uh, and or maybe this is just uh, the odd game. But he's been impressive in this finals for me. Yeah, I mean, he won a defensive player of the year a couple of years ago. Uh, he was the uh, first team. All B League uh, a couple of years ago too, so you know he's he established himself in uh, B League, but uh, you know never never made it to the, uh, the the final cut. Well, well, if you you know what, if you're the defensive player of the year <laughs> and you're hitting big shots the way that he's hitting them today <laughs> in Game Three, that tells me uh, perhaps this guy deserves a chance. Here's yep. a Gibbs dribbling around up high, passes it back to Indo. Indo says, yeah, Julio Lamas, are Indo. you watching? He puts it up from three. This time he misses badly. That was his big chance, wasn't it? Yeah, Gavin Edwards yep. with the rebound. Four fouls now on Hiyajima. I think Hiyajima kind of rushed, rushed that offensive uh, rebounding shot. Maybe he, could, he couldn't just, you know, release it quickly. Rossiter back into the game and uh, Scott is out. Tagashi. Tagashi. And Rossiter rebounds. A very big rebound. That would have been. I like the aggressiveness by Tagashi. You liked him taking that three. Yep, yep. Here's Endo. Yeah, but you're a three-point shooter, K-0. Here we go. Yep. And this time, Chiba Jets hold firm. And foul called on Gibbs. Now, you can't be afraid to take shots in big moments like that. Certainly, I agree yep. with you. Especially if, if Chiba's up by three, if Kovacic made those I've made that long three, you know, that would be a six-point game. So now Gibbs is going to go out and be replaced by Scott, who hasn't gotten involved as much in the offense today. But you know what? He, he hasn't forced anything, Josh Scott. He's made both of his uh, field goal attempts and also made both of his free throws. Got five rebounds. And with Usonomiya over the limit, free throws are coming for Chiba Jets. But this, you know, there's an eternity left in this game, 235. I mean, it oh, could yeah, take an hour to get this finished. <laughs> Look at that. Yep, and especially close game, you know, free throw is going to be crucial. You never know when the foul game is going to happen. Wow. Oh Those are two big misses by Gavin Edwards. He is now two of five from the free throw line. Takes the contact, wow. banks it in. Great control by Makoto Iyajima.
Shorter dancing around. Puts it up just inside the wow. strike. Big shot by Seth. Wow. Well, he's big game, isn't he? I mean, he's not yeah, he's big game. Him. Yeah. He's not afraid to take any kind of shots. <laughs> and now an offensive foul. Is that on Rossiter or Hiyajima? If it's Hiyajima, he's gone. Yeah, maybe Hiyajima. So his team trailing by three points, and Hiyajima whistled for foul number five on the offensive end of the floor. So he leaves, having scored 12 points and uh, grabbed four rebounds and uh, handed out two assists. Now shorter. He's got that look in his eyes shorter, as does Coe Flippin. Plenty of options uh, to go one-on-one -on -one here. Tagashi, he's going to take him. Here he goes. He gets past Scott. And there for the rebound with size. Tagashi did not hit the rim. I mean, still one minute and 20 seconds to go. I mean, if Brex goes right here, you never know until last second. Absolutely. There's an eternity. Don't go away if you're watching this one. Uh, I've got the feeling there might be something special coming. So Ikaruga brings the basketball up the floor. Back to Rossiter. Oh boy, he was tempted to launch it, but size perhaps a little too close. Now Rossiter does step back. He takes it. Oh, he goes front and back of the rim and stays out. Basketball could be so cruel at times. Taking more time off the clock, shorter. Wow. Nobody boxed out. Sebastian size. I thought for a minute it was Edwards. Uh, but that offensive rebound and put back has put Chiba Jets on top 65-60. 38.4 seconds remaining. Wow, that was... I mean, everyone was so focused on the shot and nobody was boxing out Sebastian size. The most important player for Chiba Jets. Here it is again. Shorter puts it up. And I'll tell you what, that was... Uh, you talk about effort from size. I mean, he was mm -hmm. literally shoved from behind by Ryan Rossiter, but he still kept his arm fully extended and was able to put it back up and in. Yep. Unbelievable. This Chiba Jets team has really shown us some metal here in the second half. I mean, Chiba Jets can use one foul, so if something happens, they can still give and then not give easy uh, easy shot for Brex. Boy, an entire season comes down to this. The last 38.4 seconds remaining. You know, Brex hits a shot here and it puts all the pressure right back on Chiba Jets. So yeah, if you Brex, think they'll go for a if, three? Oh, uh, I think I think they go for two and then maybe try to get a stop, or maybe use uh you know foul foul give. Ross are able to inbound the basketball to Josh Scott, who was close oh, to the Edwards. Wow. They are going to take the three, and oh, and Endo wow. missed everything. It just grazed the net. Yeah, maybe the fatigue comes. You know, fatigue came at this moment. You know, Ender was brilliant throughout the game. I mean, he was kind of wide open, but, you know, maybe his leg didn't have a lot of energy. Well, you see it so often, the best player in the game comes out and, uh, and does something like that, or one of the best players in the game. And you're certainly not going to fault him. 
He just didn't uh, he just didn't get get into the shot like he normally would. Yep. I mean, he kind of jumped forward, uh, so maybe that gave him like a little off balance. Uh, but it's not his blank, you know. He he carried this team and then he hit a couple threes to bring the game back. So. Uh, But still never know, 20, 28 seconds left. Absolutely. Porter makes the first. So he takes, uh, Atsushi Ono takes Kagashi out of the game and he brings in uh, Taguchi. I'm not sure why he makes that choice, or that decision. But he does. And now they've got, uh, the clock is suddenly the enemy. Ryan Rossiter for three. Misses Scott with the rebound and decides to go right back up and make it a, a five point game. Well, now, now it really does. It comes down to free throws. I mean, you know, if uh, unless the Brex can come up and get a steal, they're going to have to put Chiba Jets on the line. And yep, Chiba Jets I think today at the free throw line are not shooting brilliantly. They're 61%, which is, uh, I guess, acceptable, but right at the bottom end of acceptable. I think I might see a Brex uh, trapping the, when the ball inbound from uh, half court, try to get the steal or five second call. Uh, and for Chiba, they're going to put the best free throw shooters. And also, they need somebody to pass the ball inbound and uh, safely. Do you think there's any moment, you know, obviously the post-mortem is not underway yet in case uh, uh, the Brecks don't come back and win, but is there any moment in this game that you can think of or maybe, you know, have, have a think about this where maybe if they could go back and have made a play or two or done something differently, uh, things would have changed? Or has it just been like a, a case of Chiba Jets coming up and making big plays? Uh, I mean, right Chiba Jets, the the you, you know, for Shannon Shoto was – maybe uh, was carrying all offense, second half, uh, driving through the paint, you know, uh, try to be a facilitator. And also Sebastian Size and Gavin Edwards, Duncan, those guys are getting offensive rebounds. Uh, the one moment I'll say is maybe when Jeff Gear tried to get the ball in a transition and Josh Duncan stole the ball in basket and won. You know, that kind of yeah, changed the right. momentum. That was kind of big play. Uh, to boost the uh, Chiba Jets. Well, they do commit the foul in the backcourt to put Shorter on the line. You remember when Jeff, you're talking about when Jeff Gibbs had a chance to possibly uh, trigger the fast break and yep. then uh, had the ball stolen. Yeah, that's yep, a good point. I think so. Yep. Well, you know what else is interesting is that uh, for, I think it was the first three quarters of the game, uh, the Brex uh, were winning the battle of the boards. They had, they had more rebounds. And uh, right now, the rebounding advantage is for Chiba Jets, 36 to 33. So they have, in this fourth quarter, they've done a better job on the boards. That's a good point. So Shannon Shorter makes the first. I tell you what, this was a this was a Chiba Jets team to me that was uh, kind of like potentially, you know, the rabbit, the deer looking in the headlights. Scenario, <laughs> they weren't coming back, but they really dug mm -hmm. in their heels and have, have really, really battled impressively. Yep. Rossiter, he has to launch a three. He does. He misses. The ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Chiba Jets, who are closing Maybe. in on their first B League title. Maybe, like you said, like Chiba Jets has experience of winning the game three of uh, semifinals against Duke Golden Kings. And Brex never had the experience, so maybe experience is, is you know, uh, taking a big major part. Yeah, I think so. I mean, although that game was a blowout, I mean, they won that one decisively, but still they yeah. had, you know, they had to weather the storm. Um, part of me, you know, you feel bad for Brex because uh, I think this was more of a case of uh, Chiba Jets winning it rather than Brex losing it. They, have, they faced the adversity. Uh, Chiba Jets, and uh, they are going to end up becoming the Japanese uh, B League champions. 
So the, the, the Nisei B League Finals has been three games, and I'll tell you what, after this, it's hard to see him switching back. It's been fantastic. The bank is yep. open for shorter right at the <laughs> end. And that's it, folks. That is it. The, the, uh, the long-awaited title is finally theirs. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and the Chiba Jets have finally done it. They have won the B League. And uh, I have to say, in rather dramatic fashion, it wasn't a buzzer beater, but it was a backs to the wall performance. And, uh, you know, played great sportsmanship from both teams, which is what you like to see, a lot of intensity. And Kajuro, I, I'm not sure that we could have asked for much more other than uh, perhaps a buzzer beater, but I'm not sure that my heart could have taken that. I was quite happy to see a great game. Yeah, this is uh, one of the, you know, Great, great, great games in the uh, B League final. You know, no blowout, close game all through, you know, 39, 38 minutes. And uh, it was a great battle, uh, great game. Uh, and I'm really happy for Chiba because this is the third time coming to the finals and finally was able to get a, a champion. Well, you got to be happy for so many of these guys co flipping for Atsushi Ono. And I give uh, Asushi Ono a lot of credit for the responsibility uh, for the belief that he had in Coach Lippin to make him a very important part in this finals. But with Gavin Edwards coming out to do some post-game interviews also, you have to say, you know, some of your most experienced players really came to the fore at the right time with Shannon Shorter as well. Mm -hmm. And Asushi Ono, you know, the, they've got the monkey off the back. They've won that title. Um, and you're probably going to tell, you'll probably say, uh, Jeff, these guys are not going to bed tonight. They're going to be, they're going to be <laughs> celebrating uh, until tomorrow. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Maybe <laughs> one week. <laughs> so, Keijiro, uh, I'll let you, uh, when it's in Japanese, I'll let you translate. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, little tears in your eyes. I mean, we've been so close. Uh, this is the third year in a row we've been to the finals, and it feels like it's just slipped through our fingers every year. And uh, I'm just not only happy for us as the players, but the, the fans, they've been, they fought for us the, the last three years since I've been here. Organization, we, we fought so hard, and it feels so good to, to finally get it. この勝利を逃してしまっていたので、もちろん選手として自分も本当にとても嬉しく思いますが、ファンの皆さん、そして組織の皆さん、ここまで3年間応援していただいて本当にありがとうございます。激しいインサイドの勝負の中で今日15
おかげで、えー、本当にここに今いると思うのでこうやって、えー、宇都宮のブースターの、えー、皆さんもこうやって集まってくれて、えー、こんな本当に厳しい中でこういうふうにもうファイナルまで今シーズンできたことが本当に良かったかなと思います。3度目の挑戦で掴んだタイトルです、今年のチームはどんなチームだとキャプテンからご覧になりますかいや本当にキャプテンとしての仕事というのは本当に全然できてないと思うんですけど、こうやってもう優勝できたこともそれすべてだと思うので、この1年間の努力が報われて本当に良かったです。おめでとうございました。ありがとうございます。Kirkflippen going up next to him. Kirkflippen just had two points, but boy, he had four rebounds, and one of them was absolutely spectacular and triggered a, a very important break. Uh, Save a size finish with you know, seven rebounds to go with his 12 points. We saw that huge offensive rebound and put back, and of course, uh, the agony of defeat. And this so is the, like this is the moment you know like uh, the team that loses in final has to watch and then see the champions you know hold a trophy. I was in the final in All Japan uh, Emperor's Cup against Chiba Jets and then they won against us and I had to sit on the bench like Utsunomiya Brex right now and then watch everybody's interview and then hold a trophy. So that kind of like motivate me every year. Yeah, that must really sting when you get that close and you can't quite, can't quite finish it. So here they are, folks, uh, the B League champions, the Chiba Jets, and uh, yeah, this is the ceremony. It truly has been a team effort. When you think about, you look down that roster, and uh, you know, Duncan, Higashi, Kofi Kaguchi. Uh, we didn't see Akaho, but you know, earlier in the playoffs he was good. Uh, Mishimura, shorter. Sato, Edwards, Hara. Great effort by Chiba Jets. The beauty of this team is that everybody contributed. You know, not just finals, you know, semifinals to the regular season. You know, everybody contributed, everybody had their game, so... You know, that's what a strong team is. So what's that? 50, 50 million yen. Yes. So it's like uh, 500,000 US dollars. Not a, bad, uh, not a bad award for these guys. <laughs> I'm sure the club is... Uh, <laughs> the chief execs, they're all celebrating. <laughs> yep. Now the trophy is going to be presented. You got to love the white gloves. Uh... <laughs> I mean, the chairman of B League, uh, Shimada, Shimada san, is a uh, former president of Chiba Jets. So he, he's especially he, happy. He's especially happy for Chiba Jets to win this B League. Okay, the main thing here is you do not want to drop it. That's it, folks. The winners of the Nisei B League Finals, the Chiba Jets. They are the best team in Japan. And uh, lifting the trophy of high in this uh, incredible celebration here in the Yokohama Arena. Nobody's going to bed tonight. 
<laughs> we're all going to be having a good time. So, I mean, what do you do after a night like this? You just go back and sit around and uh, relive, the, relive the game? You uh, go out and uh, have a nice you know, meal, probably, you have a karaoke? What do you do? Yeah, like we'd probably go out, you know, drink, uh, karaoke, like the bars or the club. Like when, I, when we won a championship back then, we went to clubs, you know, uh, drink up to like 5 a.m., you know, good times and all that. But right now, it's still the state of emergency in Japan. Uh, so, of course, it's kind of sad that you know, these, these guys cannot like, celebrate the way it used to be. Well, obviously, all in moderation. Here we oh, go. MVP. The, yes, the MVP is. Oh, wow. Sebastian size. There you go. Well, I, I tell you what, that is a tough decision because they had probably uh, quite a few players. Yep. Uh, who uh, were worthy of consideration, and you can't. It's a. You can't really take issue with this guy because he is a double double machine. I mean, he didn't get it today, but 12 points, seven rebounds, and you remember that one play late in the game when he went up after being shoved in the back by Ryan Rossiter. He still was able to keep his arm extended and score with the putback. So a great award for Sebastian Size, the Spain international. Well, there's another award for this. It's like a most impressive uh, player in these three games for final. So you had, so size was the MVP of this game. Yep. And the guy was the, the, best, most the best player, player of the three games. Yeah, most impressive player. Most impressive uh, player. Three games, yes. yes. Do you think he's a, a little bit sheepish to, to receive this one? Look at this. <laughs> yeah, maybe I think so. <laughs> you know, he probably thought other guy, but... That's, uh, what, 100... 1 million yen? Well, that uh, magnificent automobile that he's been craving, no doubt, is now within reach. And the ball is, uh, sorry, the, uh, well, what, what are your final thoughts here? Okay, so the championship MVP, size uh, is the championship throughout the playoffs, so that makes sense. And, uh... Yep. And the Nisei Finals Awards is the three games of the finals, and that's what went to Tagashi. This is just crazy, amazing finals. I was moved. And not just Japan, you know, in the world is, you know, very tough situation. Staff of the it was a great uh, fight, uh, Chiba Jets players and staff and coaches. And congratulations on congratulations on finally winning the B-League champion. And all the fans in this arena, you know, people who watch in on smartphones or you know on TV, thank you. This season, well, in this case, the fans of the coronavirus pandemic have been able to manage the uh, throughout, the, throughout the season, you know, we had a lot of uh, different ways for fans to not to get uh, infected of uh, COVID. And thanks for the support from the partners and support for the B League. 
ありがとうございました。And thank you for everything. B リーグは今シーズンコロナの影響で本当に何度も窮地に陥りました。Uh, the season, それでも you know, B リーグ選手たちの変わらぬプレーを見て、会場で応援してくださっているファンの皆様の姿を見て、まあ何が何でも今日のこの舞台まで戻れるとは思いませんでした。そしてクラブの皆さんと共に走り続けてまいりました。正直今ホッとしております。ようやくシーズンを終えることができました。ありがとうございました。B リーグはこれからも皆様にバスケを届け、そしてバスケで日本を元気にできるように頑張ります。最後になりますが、B リーグ2021シーズン、千葉ジェッツと宇都宮ブレックスの素晴らしいゲームを持って幕を閉じます。また来シーズン。ありがとうございました。Well, I suppose it will be a long off season for Usonomi of Rex, but for this Chiba Jets team, this will be、uh, something that, again, th they'll be able to build on. I guess the、yep. question is, Kajiro, you know, are, you know, what is the team going to look like next year? Are they going to maintain that hunger、mm -hmm. uh, to get back and、uh, to be the best in Japan? Yeah, I,、uh, that's you know, every team is, is GM is right now is tough situation to who they need to get, what the pieces that they need,、uh, they need for the team.、Uh, You know, even though they win championship this year, it doesn't mean they can win back to back. You know, back to back is is tougher,、uh, and every team is now chasing for Chiba Jets. So they need to be hungry, and you know, two teams are coming up from B2 to B1 next year. It's going to be 22 teams, so it's going to be a lot tougher、uh, uh, season. What do you think this、uh, season means for Japanese basketball in terms of、uh, being able to, to have the season during the pandemic and then to actually come out and end it the way that it has? Not to mention the fact that you also have the Olympics coming up. I mean, it's a huge year for basketball in Japan. Yeah, I think it's great. You know,、uh, everything's positive, nothing negative. You know,、uh, 4,000, what, 800. People came to support this game, even though, like, like I say, it's Tuesday night. You know, people are working, you know, but they still come and support.、Uh, that short basketball is getting popular,、uh, and also like Olympic, Tokyo Olympics, gonna happen. So I'm sure like Tabashi, Hijima, those guys gonna be national team, including the, like Louis Hachimura and Yuta Watanabe. Hi, Chiba Jets, 31番原選手にお越しいただきました。原選手、悲願の初優勝おめでとうございます。ありがとうございます。今どんなお気持ちですか。最後です。What do you feel? It's... 今日のゲームも第三戦までもつれて非常にあの大変なゲームになったと思いますけれども、どんなお気持ちでプレーしていましたか。It was tough game, but what do you feel? まあ、あ宇都宮さんは本当にハードなチームの分かっていたので。It's great. It's really tough、uh, team to beat. あのそう簡単にあの勝てる相手はないっていうのはもうみんな知ってましたし第2戦で本当にうまいようにやら,てやられていたのであの初心に帰ってあのチーム全員でリバウンドとディフェンスを頑張ろうという気持ちで頑張りましたただ今日のゲームで3度目の挑戦でしたどうでしたかそうですね本当にあのチームとしても2回あの決勝で負けてますしあの個人としては本当前回の決勝で大事なところでパスミスをして、本当に悔しい思いをしたので、あのこういう同じ場であのリベンジできて本当に最高です。今日もたくさんのファンブースさんの皆さん応援に駆けつけてくれていました。皆さんに一言、お伝えをよろしくお願いします。ジェッツブースター最高です。ありがとうございました。三十一番原選手でした。He seems quite a bubbly character.
Yeah, I think so. I think he's like a move, like a, he's a good guy, you know, move maker on uh, Chiba Jets. ホソセキホソセキ千葉ジェッツ 2番 ま、もちろん敗れた、あの、悔しさもありますけど、え、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、辻さん。え、あ、